Welcome back little monkey fans. It's Carrie here and today we're going way up to the treetop toy box for a fantastic Playmobil Country Mountain Life review. We have the Alpine Lodge, item 5422, the Mountain Rescue Truck, item 5427, Mountain Rescue Helicopter, item 5428, Mountain Rescue Squad with Stretcher, item 5430, Rock Climbers with Mountain Animals, item 5423, Backpacker family with mountain spring item 5424 and it even looks like we have a water pump here so cool the alpine festival procession item 5425 the super awesome alpine cable car item 5426 and we also have one direct service package which is the traditional family and that's direct service item number 6395 that means we have nine sets from the playmobile country mountain life collection well, let's get opening. And here's our direct service traditional family set. It is super sweet. Up front, we have this adorable wiener dog and we have our little girl. And here's our traditional girl. I love her long dress and her colorful polka dot top. And she even has a bow around back. Next, we have our traditional boy. I absolutely love his leader hosen. They are so adorable. And he's got a stick accessory in his hand. I guess that could be used as a walking stick if you wanted. And he has a cool hat on and that'll just pop right off. And then we have our traditional mom and dad. Our dad has a traditional hat on. It looks like he has a leader hosen on as well, but it doesn't have the straps and he has his vest over top. And his accessory is a beer mug. And then last we have our traditional mom. So she is carrying an accessory of what looks like maybe sausages and that pops right off and the sausages can be moved wherever you like as well. And here's our mom. She looks very traditional with her puffy sleeves on and those can actually snap off so you don't have to have her wearing that as well as her front apron. So that snaps off to reveal her beautifully long dress underneath. I love the different roses on there and the fancy lace part on top. And she also has a beautiful necklace accessory. And her hair is tied up around back. Beautiful. And there's our traditional family. And here's our Alpine Festival procession set. It comes with 26 cool pieces. We have our dad in very traditional clothing. I love his hat. I love the long dress and apron front on our young girl. And then our mom has a beautiful necklace on and this bright pink apron. And that pops right off to reveal her beautifully long dress with polka dot top underneath. And her hair is just tied around back. She has puffy sleeves as well, but those are permanent. Those can't pop off. And then we have our five super sweet animals. Up front we have a baby calf and a goat. I absolutely love the cowbells around their neck. And then around back we have our three cows dressed up for the festival. I absolutely love their headdresses. We have our brown one, our multicolored, and then our caramel or tanned colored one. I love how they each have horns and all of their headdresses will just slide right off. They are so pretty. And there's our Alpine Festival Procession family. And here's our super cool Mountain Rescue Squad with Stretcher. So it comes with two rescuers. This fellow has a backpack on and their hands will just snap out of the stretcher. So he's got some pads on the front of his pants here and he has his rescue coat on with a zipper up the front. A gray backpack that can snap right off and then he has a white climbing hat and that'll pop right off. And here's our second rescue worker. He has on slightly different pants. They're a deep green with a blue top and then he has on his rescue coat. This guy's got a little bit of stubble on his face. And next we have our fabulous stretcher. When the stretcher's not being carried by people, you can push down our handles so that it will hold the stretcher steady and not topple over. And you can see on the bottom, we have a fantastic wheel so that it can actually wheel around when the characters are pulling her. We've got our strap to hold in our patient and we lift that off and you can see the bed. And here's our girl who's being rescued. She has on some yellow cargo pants and boots on the bottom and a colorful shirt on top. And there's our mountain rescue squad. They better hurry. They got to get her off to the chopper. And here is our super cool mountain rescue helicopter. This 28 piece set has some amazing accessories. So up front we have our first rescue worker and it looks like he's loading up someone who's in need of some help. Let's start with him. So he's in this mobile stretcher and it can unclip from our rescue rope and we can pop off our rescue worker. 
because there's actually a foothold here for our rescue worker so he can ride up and guide the stretcher up to the helicopter in a rescue situation. And here's our rough looking patient who's being rescued. He looks a little beat up. So the stretcher bed he's laying in has this strap and so that can undo or you can just slide the character out. And here he is. He has a black eye starting already, a bit of stubble on his face, and he has a stripy top and shorts and some brown boots on the bottom. Poor guy. And then he can slide back in. Next we have our rescue worker who would have rappelled down on our rescue rope. And so the rope is attached into both of his hands right now so he can pop those out. And our rescue rope is actually attached to a winch up on the helicopter. And so you can crank it down and then crank it up to pull up the stretcher. That's so cool. I absolutely love all of the gear that this rescue worker has on. He has on a fantastic harness on the front so he can be safe while he repels down. And I love his super bright yellow protective hat. It is fantastic. And here is our super cool helicopter. I love how it's a super bright yellow so definitely can see it from far away. We have our blades on top and those will spin really well. Then we've got our back fins, our Alpine Rescue Emblem, and inside the back we have our first aid kit. So it has our rescue emblem on the front and inside it has an insert that shows a whole bunch of different supplies. So the insert can pop right out so you could load it up with some real accessories if you'd like. Inside the helicopter you can see we have one seat in the back and up front to check out our pilot we just pop that up. You can see all of the different controls inside our cockpit. And here's our woman pilot. She has matching pants and rescue top uniform. I love the zipper up front. She has her communication system on her helmet and that'll pop right off. And there she is. And here is our awesome mountain rescue truck. There's 61 pieces in total and there are so many cool features. It has real rubber wheels and they roll very, very nicely. We have our mountain rescue emblem around a couple sides of the vehicle and on the front hood as well. The front of our truck is equipped with a winch. So we can snap off the hook on the front and then we need to pull this out to unlock it and then we can crank it around. That is so cool. And when we spin it around, we have access to our back doors. The storage for a whole ton of accessories inside. So we have this climbing axe, our adorable rescue dog, and his rescue pack will just slide right off. And he also comes on a leash. And his tail will actually move up and down along with his head and his legs move as well, which is so cool. The set comes with two walkie talkies, a hammer, and then our first aid kit. And again, if we pop that open, it shows an insert for all of your medical supplies. Then we have this cool rescue or tow rope. We have two spots on it for your characters to hold. And then the other side has a clip. And then we have our stretcher. So that'll slide right out of that spot in the back. The wheels will pop down. Then we have this strap here that can hold your patient in. And then we have handles for our characters so that they can push it along. And the legs have wheels so they can wheel it around. So you can see how much space we have in the back for storage, which is fantastic. And we also can access our truck by pulling up the top. And then you can access your other characters. So inside our vehicle, we only have two spots for our rescue workers and the rest is storage. And here's our two rescue workers. We've got our female rescue worker who has on what looks like a jumpsuit rescue outfit and her hair is tied around back. And then we have our second rescue character who has on some cool cargo pants and a fantastic harness here. And I love the bright yellow helmet. And the fantastic thing about this set is you can also choose to get the add-on RC controller, which is item 4856. We had a hard time finding it, but if you get it, it would allow you to make this race around all on its own. And the last super cool thing about our mountain rescue truck is that you can even flip up the front hood to see the engine. How cool is that? And there's our mountain rescue truck. And here's our rock climbers with mountain animals.
This is a 97 piece set and there are definitely some cool features with this set. Up front we have our greenery base with a bunch of different flowers and then a fantastic tree around back. And we have our first set of animals here. So maybe some ground squirrels or gophers. We have one peeking out from a burrow down here and one who looks like he's checking out stuff. So if we take him down, we can actually lift up this rock part to reveal their burrow. And inside there is an itty bitty baby. It is so sweet. So it's laying on this bit of hay here that can move around. And then we have our other one that's crouched over a bit. And then there's the one that's standing up. Almost looks like he has a little belly button there on his plastic. And the set also came with three mountain goats. So we have a great big one here with big horns and the legs and the head will move. And I think that's so that they can look like they're climbing up the rocks. Fantastic. And then we have a smaller one with multicolored on the front of its face with some horns as well. And then an itty bitty baby. And up front we have a girl hiker. I love her orange helmet and she has a matching green orange backpack around back. She has her walking sticks and she has on a very pretty pink top. And then around back we have our fantastic mountainside. So this piece can actually separate from our greenery base and you can move it around wherever you like. And it comes with a bunch of these individual rock pieces. So you can have some falling rock while your characters are trying to scale this mountainside. And our peak is 2,569 meters to the top. And then we also have one complete breakaway piece. And so that'll just tumble down. How cool is that? So the piece that tumbled off is loose. It doesn't snap into place. And so it just rests along the mountainside. And then you can take a bunch of our loose rock pieces and rest it on top. And then we have our two climbers. So we have one of our climbers who's at the base holding on to our climbing rope. We can pop his hand off the handle and he's got on a great yellow helmet. He has this extra piece on the front of his harness that allows you to slip in the rope here so it will hold your character even better while they're trying to scale up the mountain. And in his hand he has a book accessory so I'm not sure if he's trying to learn about how to mountain climb while he's mountain climbing or what that's for. And then we have our last climber who is on our climbing rope here. So if we turn this around you can see that we can hook up our rope to the top of the back of the mountain here. And then there is a little ledge here where your character's feet can go. There's the two handles along the rope itself. And again, this character has on a harness. So all of the harnesses will just snap right off. This guy's got on a cool blue jacket. He's got a bit of scruff on his face and some cool sunglasses up top with his safety helmet. And there's the backside of our mountain. You can see we have some more loose rocks here and a couple of steps up where some of the animals or characters can climb on. And there's our rock climbers with mountain animal set. And here's our backpacker family with mountain spring. It is such a cool set. It has 81 pieces in total and it pretty much fits all on this one base here. So we've got a bunch of greenery and flowers and we have some fantastic signage here. So it's telling us which way to the valley. It's an hour hike, two hours to the peak, and 2.5 hours to the Alp. We have our mom and dad with their hiking attire and our dad has his walking sticks with him. And he has a blue and gray backpack accessory around back. And for our mom, she has a cool vest and some jeans and a colorful striped shirt underneath. Next, we have our two children. Looks like they're both dressed to go hiking. They have some super cute sweaters on some long pants, and then they both have a backpack accessory around back. They look pretty excited to be out hiking with their family today. So for the rest of our mountain spring, we've got our rocky part here, and then we have this spout coming out that almost looks like a tree. And then we have a trough down here, which looks like a hollowed out log. Then we've got a big evergreen here. Pretty plain around back, but there are a couple extra spots where your characters could climb up on. Let's add in some water. Now let's test it out. So you can see that there's a hole in our water trough here. So when it gets too full, the water will start to release down this hole and back up into our spring to be repumped up again. It's fantastic.
And here's our Alpine Lodge. It has 201 fantastic pieces. Let's spin it around and check out the inside first, and then we'll come back around front and finish accessorizing. And here's the main level of our quaint Alpine Lodge. We have a fantastic seating area on the right side, along with a fireplace. And so this is one whole unit here that can slide around and it has a bench along the bottom so you can have some more characters sitting there. We have some books up on the fireplace mantle and we've got our eating table and another stool. And on top of our table, we have a fantastic food platter. It looks delicious. And then we have our first character who's playing an accordion. So the accordion can pop right out of his hand. He has a traditional hat on and some leader hosen, and I love his red socks on the bottom. And his hat will pop right off. Maybe he's warming up his skills so he can play something for the guests later on. We have a poster telling about a whole bunch of different types of butterflies that maybe can be found in the area. And then there's our main door that leads out onto our front balcony. Over on the left side, we have our eating bar. We have our beer tap here. We have two beer mugs, and we have another platter of food. Delicious. Oh, it looks like there's some egg on top of this one. And then two additional chairs for guests. And this whole bar can lift out. And below we have additional mug storage. And there's the main floor of our Alpine Lodge. I absolutely love the wood looking flooring as well. Let's head on up to our upper floor. And here's the upper floor. We have a private bathroom with a sink and toilet and that lid will lift right up. We have a window to let in some light up here, and then we have our sleeping quarters. You can see we have a bit of a cubby here behind our bathroom wall, and so there's a small, almost like a little crawl space back there, so you could store extra things around back. And then we have our sleeping quarters. They're pretty basic, that's for sure. It looks like whoever's staying here didn't finish their card game. So we have two card hands, a set of four cards. It looks like somebody was playing a run. And then we have a deck of cards, and these are so itty bitty. I love the pattern on the back side of all of them. And then you can see we have a face card on the other side. And it looks like we have the seven of clubs. So any guests that come to stay at the lodge get to stay on one of our three sleeping mats. So we have two larger blue ones, and then a small child size white one. Over on our sleeping quarter side, we actually have access to our upper patio. So you can pop that door open and head out onto the balcony. It's not a huge balcony, but it is beautifully decorated with all of this greenery and multicolored flowers. It is so pretty. And there's the back side of our Alpine Lodge. Let's spin it around so we can check out the front and finish accessorizing. Around this side, you can see the upper window that's in our loft area and the shutters will open and close. And around our other side, we have our upper balcony that we saw earlier, as well as more windows down below with flower pots and more shutters. I absolutely love all of the stone detail here. And here's the front side of our Alpine Lodge. We have this fantastic umbrella here to provide some shade for any guests that are coming to eat out front. I absolutely love the antlers up on the side of the building. We have another window with shutters and flower pots. We have this fantastic vine with beautiful flowers. So up front we have this cute white cat just sitting on the front patio here. And we have our hiker. So he's got some walking poles. He has an outdoorsy type hat and a backpack accessory around back. Next we have a woman and a little boy. And so our little boy looks like he's wearing almost a leader hosen with longer pants and some boots. And then he has a blue backpack accessory around back. And then our woman has on a cute blue vest and a checkered top and I love her cargo pants on the bottom. And then we have our very traditional looking woman character who looks like she's serving up some fantastic food at the lodge. She has a food platter in her hand. She has on this fantastic apron up front and that can pop right off to reveal her beautiful outfit. She has a long dress on the bottom and she has a laced up bodice. And the neat thing about her is that she has these puffy sleeves here and those can pop right off. So you can choose to have a more formal look with them on or to take them off. That's so fantastic. And then her hair's tied up in a bun around back. She's beautiful. Next, let's add in our final accessories. We have a side stable. There's a couple of windows. And that's to house our brown cow. We have this feeding trough 
with some extra pieces of grass or hay inside. We can slide that in to feed our cow. The set came with two pieces of fencing so we can enclose a space. And there's some extra fencing on the side of our front patio here and that can move open so you can completely close off the space. And that's where maybe our characters can get in and out to access to take care of the cow. Then we have this hollowed out log where you could be collecting some water and almost this tree stump thing, which maybe is the actual tap for where the, the water comes out. And then our final two accessories are these two goats. I love the itty bitty baby one. And there's our super quaint Alpine Lodge. Here is our super awesome Alpine cable car. This set is amazing and it has 80 pieces in total. Well, let's start down at the base of our cable car and check out that space first. So the set came with four characters. We have two up front here and they look like they're hikers ready to get a pass to ride the cable car. Here's our boy character. He has a GPS accessory in his hand. That is so awesome. It's got a bit of stubble on his face and he's decked out in some comfortable hiking gear with his backpack accessory around back. And here's our girl hiker. She has on a colorful top. She has ginger hair and she has a camera accessory. I love the detail on her cargo pants. Around back we have one of our cable car workers. He has on almost like an emergency service uniform here. So he could be the one that they call if something happens up on the mountain. He might be a first responder. He has a walkie talk accessory and he has some cool glasses on top. I love those. Not sure if you can tell, but they do have a hint of blue to them. Inside the main building of our cable car, we have our final character. And here she is. I love her top. It is so colorful and she has a white vest on. Very pretty. So the main base of our structure actually needs to be filled up with water so that it's weighted down so it can take the tension from our cable car rope. And we'll show how to work that and how it connects up to our upper cable car deck. But down here, we've got our window booth where our hikers could purchase tickets to ride up the cable car. We've got a stone base here and then up on this back plank here, a little bit of fencing. It has some controls here. And then behind our hikers, we have this fantastic gate that'll swing open so our guests can hop up to our cable car platform before they take their ride up the mountain. Let's check out the inside of our cable car main office and ticket booth. And here it is. We have a couple of computer stations here that would be operating our cable car and any other information that they need to track to make sure that it's functioning properly. We have our cash register for when tickets are purchased to ride the cable car. And then just a regular chair for our worker. We have a first aid kit that'll pop right open to reveal the supplies inside and that's just an insert. And then on the other side of this office space, we have our supply area. We have our fire extinguisher, a pickaxe and a shovel for winter time when they need to keep the pathways clear. Then we have an extra backpack, some binoculars, and then a whole bunch of tools and accessories in the bucket below. So we have two flashlights, an ax, and what looks like a small pickaxe or a hammer. And all of them can be stored inside this bucket. And there's the inside of our base office for our cable car. And here's our cable car. I love the mountain emblem on the front. And so this upper part is what is going to glide along our cable. Around the side, we have some storage. And in here, we have some walking poles for our hikers. Same emblem on the other side. And the only thing that's too bad is with the inside of the cable car, there's no spot for your character to hold on to. So if you didn't have it filled up with tons of passengers and you go too fast, they'll topple over. Let's get it all hooked up onto our cable so our hikers can take a trip to the top of the mountain and we can check out the top base. So our lower cable car base connects to our upper base via the cable. And you can also see that our top base needs to attach to a sturdy object, like a stool or a table. And we've got a covered stool here, so it kind of makes it look like a mountain. And here's the controls around back for our cable car. This is how we're gonna crank it to make the cable car go up. This lower one is just to adjust the tension of our cable line. Looks like our hikers are loaded up and ready to go. and they made it to the top safely. That is so cool. And here's our upper platform. There's a small space up here where our passengers can hop out of the cable car. And the only other accessory that we have up here is a small shovel that they'd use to clear the snow away on the platform. And there's our entire Playmobil Country Mountain Life Collection. It is so spectacular.
Little monkey fans, do you remember? How many goats did we get from our entire Playmobil Mountain Life collection? Thanks for watching! To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for toys!